We're just a couple of weeks away from the 2014 general election. As part of our commitment to democracy 2014, we're sitting down with the candidates to help you get to know them better before you actually have to go vote for them. Isn't that nice? Recently, our Chuck Stokes sat down with 8th congressional candidate Mike Bishop. Joining me now is Mike Bishop, Republican, for I mean in the 8th Congressional District, and we appreciate your joining us as well. You're no stranger to politics. You were a member of the Michigan legislature, uh, took some time out, decided to go back into the practice of law, but now you want to get back in there again. If you're elected to go to Washington and serve, what's the very first piece of legislation you introduce? Well, I don't know that I could tell you what the first piece of legislation it would be that I would introduce, but uh, it will have something to do with the budget and living within our means and uh, bringing some sort of common sense back to the process of the way we budget in our United States government, because I think that's probably the biggest concern that most people have. Yep. Is there a particular committee that you would like to be on? I've, I've always been uh, good at the budget process. I've always been uh, very in tune with... with uh, bringing reforms to government and the way we spend money. That's, Watch your hands on the money. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I think that I would bring value in that in that category. My background also is in the law and, and uh, financial services in particular because I'm a business lawyer. Um, but I will I will do whatever I can to work hard for wherever I'm I'm assigned and and uh, be very grateful for the opportunity. From that perch in Washington, uh, would you be able to bring money back for our roads and our bridges? If there's one thing that we hear a whole lot from Michiganders is that we are sick and tired of these potholes and they have to be fixed. But that comes down to a money question. Sure it does. And, and in a world where everything's done by formula, especially when it comes to our roads at the federal level, we as a state give money to the federal government, we get a portion back. And we're, we're a donor state. We're a donor state. And uh, it's we got to work on the formula and figure out how we get Michigan back up there um, as a as a state that gets its money back in return. Uh, Congressman Rogers, uh, who one of you will be replacing as he moves on to uh, hopefully bigger and better things, his specialty was national security. He was an expert on intelligence type of issues. Um, that's what the people from the 8th Congressional District are used to. Let's take an example. We have the Mideast crisis. Uh, the president says he's using airstrikes. He feels that should do the job. You agree or disagree, and do we need ground troops? Of course, I'm not an expert like Mike Rogers was, but uh, my my feeling as a citizen, having studied uh, the issue and, and read uh, what folks read, mm -hmm. is that I don't think that we can possibly solve this crisis in the Middle East without some form of presence in that region. It, uh, it seems to me that uh, just airstrikes is, is fanning the flames there. It's it's not going to get the job done. Going to have to put boots on the ground. You're going to have to put boots on the ground and figure out a way to secure that area and keep it secure and not just let it, you know, go in and out of a secure state. All right. Oftentimes, a litmus test for um, people running for elective office these days is health care mm -hmm. and whether or not they agree or disagree with the Affordable Care Act. For or against it? I'm against it. I'm actually a business owner right now myself. I work at International Bank Card in Clawson, Michigan. And I can tell you that from our perspective as a business, it is crushing the small business sector of our economy. It, uh, it's a mandate that uh, small business will not be able to keep up with. And I think it's going to do more harm than good. Uh, we've got to figure out how to fix it and uh, do what we're supposed to do, which is control the cost of health care and not just decide who's going to pay for it. So that becomes the question in this uh, new session of Congress. Should they just go in and tweak it and fix things that they feel are wrong with it, or should you repeal the whole thing? You know, a legislature every once in a while will pass something that's wrong, and that's true for any legislative environment. And I think under the circumstances, this was absolutely wrong. It needs to be pulled right off the books, uprooted and pulled out, and we need to start all over again. There is a real problem in this country with regard to those that are uninsured, but it doesn't help anybody to give them a policy they can't use because when they get the policy, it's just too expensive for them to, to uh, get health care. All right, final question on the lighter side. Uh, this is the Motor City, and Michigan is known for building its cars and trucks, despite the roads that we drive them on. Uh, what kind of car do you drive? I drive an American-made uh, car, an SUV, and um, I've always driven a, an American-made car. When I was growing up, my my father would not make my friends with foreign cars park in the uh, street, <laughs> and I live on a major uh, in a, a major street, so it's not that very convenient. <laughs> yeah. Mike Bishop, thanks for coming in and joining us for Democracy 2014, and good luck Thank on you Election very much. Day. Thank you.
and we'll throw it back to you. Uh, I like the way he didn't actually identify which American car. But he did say an American, <laughs> American, American SUV. SUV. There you go. And coming up tomorrow at 7, we're going to introduce you to the other candidate running for the 8th Congressional District, Eric Schertzing. In the meantime, you can head to our website at WXYZ.com forward slash candidates for everything you need to know for the November election. It's